What's up guys, it's me, Jeremy. We've got some awesome Master Yao plays for you today, so let's get started. At number 5, it's Auto Switch beginning a chase in the top lane. He jumps onto Lee Sin and Alpha Strikes to dodge the Cho'Gath Rupture, continuing on and using a Meditate reset to kill Lee Sin. He sets his sights on Cho'Gath and starts taking him down, once again dodging the knockup with a great Alpha Strike. With Aurelia's help, he brings Cho'Gath low and cues to dodge the silence, stepping back to avoid the third knockup. With Cho'Gath running into the turret, he uses another Alpha Strike to avoid Ari's damage and finish off Cho'Gath. He runs out and meditates to avoid the turret damage, then jumps back in to kill Ari with his fifth and final Alpha Strike in a 3 for 0. Next up, we've got TKD heading out of his base for a flank on the team fight. At 7 and 6, he's not that fed, but he jumps onto the enemy Jinx and starts hacking away. He sticks on her, finishing Jinx with the red buff and then dodging the Karthus ultimate with a nicely timed Alpha Strike. Killing Darius, he makes short work of Lulu right after and continues into the base to join his team and grab Sejuani for the fairly solo quadra kill. At number 3, we've got Steer with a great example of Master Yi fight mechanics. As Vayne rolls in, he Alpha Strikes to dodge her Condemn and Inevitable Stun, and then uses a quick Meditate to reset his auto attack, finishing Vayne off under his turret, and using Alpha Strike once again to dodge the final turret shot and get out alive. It's a bit of an old clip, but let's watch this one again as it really showcases Master Yi mechanics perfectly. Play number 2 begins with Samuel Well approaching the enemy team from the river. He hesitates to initiate, but after his team grabs a kill, he starts to go in. He starts onto Warwick using Alpha Strike immediately to completely dodge the infinite duress and keep on fighting. After Warwick flashes away, he turns his sights onto Corky using Alpha Strike to grab the kill and pick up the Dangerous Game heal. A final Alpha Strike dodges the Morgana Binding and thanks to Dangerous Game, he survives this 1v3 with a triple kill. Our top out play starts with Master Yi's bot jumping onto the enemy Ash. After she flashes a perfect Alpha Strike, dodges the ultimate, and closes the distance to finish her off. He jumps onto Nidalee next with an Alpha Strike and uses a Meditate Auto Attack reset to bring her down. He's able to dodge most of the Katarina damage with a third Alpha Strike, and once she's down, he makes easy work of Blitzcrank, using the final Alpha Strike to pick up an impressive Quadra Kill in this 1v4 fight. What the fuck? 